What's good, everybody? I'm Blitz5, and this morning got some crazy news for PUBG on the Xbox One. And this is crazy in a bad way, not in a good way. So this morning I woke up, I was reading Twitter, checking the news like I always do in the morning in bed. I'm sure a lot of you guys maybe do the same thing. I went on to Reddit to check the PUBG Xbox subreddit which i do there's a lot of information on there i see that they have the latest community weekly post up this is for the first week of october and if you're not familiar with this basically every other week or so pubg will come out with a community post where they'll talk about you know just the state of the game things up and coming new content what's going on with xbox all this stuff and usually it's kind of pretty positive they usually have some information they're fixing things all this stuff and i clicked on this post and i saw a giant wall of text so i'm like oh wow this is about to be the biggest update of all time then as i started reading i noticed that this is basically the biggest pubg xbox fail of all time and they are basically just deflecting all this stuff they don't have any answers it seems like they're almost in panic mode and this is kind of crazy, so I don't really know how to attack this video. I want to preface the video by saying that ever since I started making PUBG content about six months ago, I've been very, very positive of this game. This game has helped my YouTube page out a lot. I'm very appreciative appreciative of it i respect the developers and how much it takes to make a video game like this i you know i really enjoy the game i'm going to continue playing it but to me this is like just absolutely ridiculous that this is happening that we're in the 1.0 launch of the game and that it's i don't know if it's the, not the lies but it's like how could you put this game into 1.0 launch make it available to be purchased saying that make the event pass all of these microtransactions when the game is very very broken and i think this is almost like kind of a dishonest business tactic at this point and i always kind of deflected those things but now i'm starting to see a little bit of that now and i think that um you know honestly they're probably in panic mode because of call of duty and all these other games that are coming out and they really should have had a lot of stuff ready here and they don't. So I'm gonna get back into that in a second. Let me get into this video and kind of start breaking down this wall of text section by section. I'm gonna to try to start with the most important things first and then go over some of the things that are less important. So let's get into it. First things first, the PTS for this weekend is canceled. I think that's the most, uh, the, the biggest priority. The first thing is first because today is Friday, October 5th. 2018 as I record this video just for some um, reference for you guys in case you're watching this after fact So today or this weekend they said that there was probably going to be a PTS Because there that's the public test server because they were going to implement all this new content They're trying to catch us up with PC and obviously they want a lot of content to compete with Again, all of the releases, Call of Duty, they, they, they want to spice up the game a little bit. So this was supposed to include some quality of life buffs the barrel m62 rifle the mk47 mutant and more new vehicles the scooter the took shy the, which is the tuk tuk all this different stuff was supposed to be tested and put into the game they said in the first week or two in october really they made it sound like it was coming like the first week and they said that they're having an issue with the build so not only are they not doing the pts but that this is going to be delayed until later in october they also just promised that there was going to be two major updates in october so if the first one is already being delayed what does that mean for the second one they didn't comment it comment on that in this video i mean or in this post i'm sorry so basically things are being delayed things are being pushed back then the next thing i saw was that i'm skipping kind of down here they kind of hid this at the bottom is that the custom match was planned for late october and this is being pushed for november and at the end of this paragraph they didn't make this very promising they said that they're trying to work on everything else here before custom games which again let me just remind you guys that this was promised for the 1.0 launch of the game which was on september 4th 2018 so you know they said all this stuff was going to be in the 1.0 launch and it's not and now they're saying they don't even know when it's going to be fixed and then as they say they're pushing it to november they promised more content you know towards the winter and then we're also supposed to be getting the winter map sometime soon in november in december or january so what if this just doesn't end up happening and just gets pushed back and this is kind of an empty promise and i think you should never over promise and under deliver and that's what PUBG is doing right now and it's uh, really unfortunate for them 
Then moving on, this is a big issue for a lot of people. This is uh, lost connection to host. So this is when you try to get into a game and you lose connection. As a solo player, this is less of an issue. But when you try to get in with your friends and play with squads, if one person keeps dropping from the game, this can happen two or three or four times in a row where a different person gets dropped from your squad if you're playing with a four-man squad. And it makes getting into the game very frustrating. And also because this game is solely a online game, this is a big issue that should be fix, fixed. And the worst part about this is that they really don't know how to fix it. At least as of like two weeks ago, they were still asking for people to maybe explain what's going on because they really didn't have an idea of what's happening. There's still an ongoing thread, they said, where you can try to report reproduction steps so they can figure out how to reproduce this issue. So there's really no timeline in sight. They really don't even know how to do fix this yet. So basically for the, you know, for the time being, this is going to be an issue unsolved. They don't even have a timeline for it. Then we have desync, which they're still working on. To me, I don't suffer from desync all the time. I had a debatable desync issue the other day, but a lot of this stuff has to do with lag and servers and all this stuff. And they announced that they're going to be dropping all of the servers, which I thought was interesting. Shout out to uh, Prodigy aka rj he's plays out of guam and a lot of times when i play with him it gets moved to like the oceanic server and i always find that interesting and uh you know i think that that's probably an issue that every game suffers with how do you do the servers and the different regions so this is one thing i don't blame PUBG on and hopefully removing the regions just allows people to play with whoever's closest to them or whoever has the best ping to them so hopefully that will work i don't know if there's any repercussions of that in the negative way but they're still working on desync and connection issues and then I mentioned the October PTS update. Then now we have the weapon skin. So this is a big issue for a lot of people in the community. I didn't realize that so many people were kind of mad about this until I started receiving comments about this almost every week and also questions on stream. So if you're not familiar with this, the Glory and Trifecta skins were supposed to be released on September 21st to be purchased. They were released quickly for a short period of time. They had the wrong price and that there was also a purchasing error so people weren't receiving them after purchasing them. So they withdrew them from the store and there hasn't been any news about that. They kind of just went quiet. They said in here that there was just some issues with that and they've kind of still not giving a lot of details. And now out of all of the things that are wrong with the game, they are re-releasing these skins to be purchased, no discount or anything. At this point, I really feel like they should just be giving them away for free because of all the issues we've had on the Xbox One. But they're being released today, October 5th, 2018, and they're going to be available one month until November 4th, 2018. And... I get it. Being rational here, it's a lot easier to implement skins into a game than new vehicles or a new map or custom games. I totally get that, but it's kind of just like a disrespectful thing when they're saying, hey, lost connection. We have no idea. This update pushed all the stuff we promised for October. They're lying about now. Custom game is supposed to be in September. Now it might not even come in November. Who even knows? Oh, by the way, the event pass worked, and here's also these weapons that you can purchase right now. They're available. I just, I don't like the way that comes off. I know they need to make money and stuff like that, but I, I just really don't like the way that that's coming off. And especially because of all this stuff. I mean, I don't think I really need to explain myself with that. And then we also have continuing Xbox One X performance issues. They're trying to bring the frame rate up across the board. Obviously they had to kind of reduce the performance for the Xbox One X because people were having issues with that. So that is obviously an issue because people, you know, that the Xbox One X carries a high price tag and people are expecting and they were promised good performance if you buy this machine. It's like a Microsoft thing at this point. So, you know, they're not able to really produce content up to that quality. So it's just disappointing. And then going back down, just some other random things here. We have the uh, event pass that's over now. You can still try to level up to level 30 for a couple days. They reintroduced the thing where you can buy five passes at a time. They took that out and then they re-put that in because of alleged community feedback that people want to buy this thing. But again, it's just another thing that people can spend money on. And to me, that's also messed up. You know, some people might not have, be able to play a lot or they're not good at this game and they just want the target pan. Everybody wants that. So, and you have to be level 30 to hit that. So to me, it would have been just better if they said, hey, after the event pass, you can buy these items for an individual price or something. I don't know, but they're just making people spend money on the event pass and then level up five, maybe buy the pass four times to level up 20 levels to get the 30 to get what they want. So just making more money. And then finally, going back, we have the event mode for this weekend, which is in fact kind of cool. 
I am happy that they're doing more event modes. This is like something that they didn't really tell us about. So they're like over delivering on this. This is just the one thing. Um, this is Sanak 45ers. If you're interested in knowing more about this event, it's running from uh, today until the end of Sunday. I'll link my previous video I made about that in the description box below. I went over all the details and stuff in that video. So the big thing here is that I think they over promise and under delivered. And if you're still here at this point in the video, I know it's kind of long. I think that we can understand here that PUBG had really a running start versus all of the other Battle Royale games. And they've been going kind of up and down here. Fortnite came out, did a great job. We saw the Blackout beta was incredible for just being a beta and being probably in development not as long as any of these other games. And... You know, I've been understanding of PUBG. They're probably have to hire new developers. It's their first game on a console. So there's a lot of stuff here you can kind of point to to explain what's going on. But at this point, they had so much time to figure this out. They've had months and months and months and months and months. And they pushed the 1.0 release. They promised all this stuff. They're trying to make this game competitive. And to me, they had a really good chance to... To, to make a football reference here, they had a really good chance to win this game and they just fumbled the ball continuously. They just keep fumbling, giving over turnovers. And to me, they're going to ultimately lose this game versus the big titles, the Call of Duties of the world, the other games out here and this fall, which I keep calling hashtag fight for the fall. I don't think they're going to fare very well. I'm going to continue to be playing PUBG and check back in, switch it up. You know, I enjoy playing this game. I think Everyone is stuck around because they enjoy playing the game and how realistic it is and how satisfying it is to get that winner, winner, chicken dinner. But I think a lot of people who are on the fence right now with this game are going to probably get off that fence and it might not be in the right direction. So let's try to stick it out for PUBG's sake. But man, this is definitely disappointing. And I'd love to hear what you guys think down in the comments below. So as always, thank you all for watching. Thank you for sticking around if you made it this far. And I'm Butts5 and peace out.